so it's directly there. Yeah, you see the marshal? Yeah. The track bends left. So I thought I'd do something slightly different this time. So this is my latest gameplay video, which is already posted. But I thought I'd um, post a second video with a director's commentary uh, to kind of like talk through how I play the game and little tips and tricks um, playing as a giddy sniper. If you've seen the this video already, um, the one without the commentary, you should know that the aim of the game is to destroy the two 105 cannons situated in the firebase. It's a switch around game so we'll go first and then we'll switch sides and the winning team is the team that does it in the quickest time. So it's really important right at the start to um, like rush in and try and get some, some ground covered. On the run in uh, I've seen, or I think I've seen Ed, the other sniper on the enemy team so straight away we dive into this large moat system. I cautiously rise to the top of the moat and I keep this tree between myself and Ed to prevent or try to prevent him from spotting me. It turns out Ed did see us and he's panning very slowly to try to keep his movements to a minimum. But lucky for him my BB just catches his gun. So I try for a second shot but my left shoulder is just on show around the side of that tree. After a quick respawn I rush back through that same moat to uh, rejoin Hutchie who's stood in that same location. So I relay to Hutchie where, um, where I saw Ed and this time I crest the rise with even greater care. Put myself slightly to the side from my last location. I give a, a smaller window to look through and um, it pays off. Yeah. Yeah, that's where it was. So we're fairly confident now that there's no threat of the snipers in the area and any AEG players are just, we're going to be out of their range so we can have a quick look. And after a quick confer, uh, we decide to drop back down into the moat and make our way around. We drop back down into the moat as it offers us some good concealment and we can move quietly over the damp, soft ground in the bottom. We're just taking care here of uh, the sight line down the centre of the moat as uh, we could easily be spotted crossing over the middle. And sure enough there's one enemy player in the group of trees there so I dart across to get some cover and I choose to go for the Glock over the Mark 23 as I thought the other player had seen me so the Glock offers greater firepower in a situation like this. Have a quick check around to see if there's anybody else that we can see and um, then we continue to push on through. When we get close to where that other player was I'll go for the Mark 23 here because if we can sneak upon any other players we might be able to take them out quietly without alerting any other players of our presence. And in the distance on top of the bank I've spotted our friend Ed. So here I am um, give clear and concise instructions or details of where I saw Ed to uh, my friend Hutchie here. Ditch, you've got an upright tree yeah. behind it, the tree doing that. Yeah. Well behind that upright tree, it's about 60 metres dead on behind that. I hear automatic fire behind me and an enemy player has managed to sneak round. Right, I need to move up towards this enemy player to pull the distance in so I'll put a tree between myself and that player so that he can't see me moving in. So I didn't hear, I genuinely didn't hear. So I'd hit this player the first time around and I never heard his call of hit, which is what the confusion is here. And then I get shot in the back by um, my friend Ed. But this player is really nice, it's really friendly, uh, there's no salt involved and he just graciously takes the hit and goes to respawn, as do I. When leaving the moat here and breaking cover, I always, again here, put these trees between myself and the enemy targets to greatly minimise the chance of being seen. And I know Ed is in the vicinity and I've just seen this grass move just the other side of the brow of the moat. He's here. Three metres. 
so I put this the long rifle to the side and uh, I'm checking my weapons to make sure that I've actually got ammo and they're all cocked and ready to fire as I sneak up on this player uh, and again whilst moving forward I always try to keep cover between myself and the objective to minimize being spotted and with my footsteps here I'm, I'm making sure to place my foot down before I transfer my weight and to fill the ground uh, for any branches and twigs and sure enough there it is a quick double tap and that's it job done <laughs> yeah but I didn't know where you were but then the grass moved Hudgy, you see there's a muzzle poking around out there you might not be able to see because of this tree when giving out information to your teammates yeah. it's best to keep everything simple but clear Okay, I've decided to move in now and the sniper rifle will be breaching MED if I take it into here and it's going to be more of a pain than anything else. So I leave it with Ed to look after and I push forward when my pistol's ready. Uh, time is of an essence here but I still try to keep my movements smooth and um, as low as possible. Uh, trying to keep to the, the shorter of the grasses here so that the stems aren't waving above my head height. Now that battle cry from that other player would have drawn attention so now's the time to have a quick look and a quick leap over staying as quiet as possible. Again I'm moving forward here trying to keep my weight off my foot until it's firmly on the ground. Now a quick cautious glance as I come out of the radio hurts here and I can see that I've got some teammates are now on the boundary of this firebase so now I can pick up the speed and uh, rush to get these objectives done and as I rush again across here I'll call out to my teammates to keep suppressive fire to keep the remaining enemies down and covered and you can even hear my landing there whereas you couldn't hear the landing in the first time you could definitely hear that one well that was something different something new um, I hope you enjoyed that um, I'll probably do some more in the future thanks for watching guys